So we're going to continue the exam with an abdominal exam. So I'll ask Nancy if you want to lay back, please. So you would begin by begin by inspection. So you're inspecting for any obvious um, hernias, pulsations, mashes, striae, um, looking at the umbilicus. And then it's part of the abdominal exam. The second step is auscultation. So you want to auscultate in, in all four quadrants using the diaphragm. And you should listen for up to a minute if you can't hear any bowel sounds. And then using the bell, you would want to auscultate the aortic artery, the renal, iliac, and femoral. You're noting any bruises. Nextly, you want to percuss the abdomen. So you want to be examining on the right side, the side that the liver is on. And um, so you would percuss in all four quadrants. And you're listening for resonant sounds or t or tympanic, which might be suggestive of which might be suggestive of um, fluid buildup or air buildup. So with percussing the liver, you're going to start at the iliac crest which should be resonant, and then percuss up until it becomes dull. And then, Nancy, if you want to take, go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. And I can attempt to palpate the edge of the liver, and this is also a test for Murphy's sign, which is a test for cholecystitis, um, if, she, if that elicited pain when I was um, poking my fingers under her rib cage there. So then we would move to palpation, which is the last um, step in the abdominal exam. So you would perform light palpation within clockwise, and um, then move to deeper palpation um, and inquiring about any pain that's being elicited. There's also um, some tests for appendicitis, so roasting. So then uh, one of the first tests for appendicitis is Rovzing's, Rovzing's sign. So you would palpate in the left lower quadrant, and notice that if you elicited any pain in the right lower quadrant, so I'm sure you'll tell me if I can. And then also we can do the obturator sign. So I'm going to have you go ahead and bend your right leg, and then we're going to rotate it internally and extend. And any pain in your right lower quadrant, okay? And then the psoas sign. So I'll have you bend your right thigh, and then push against my hand. So push up, and then extend. Excellent. And that was not. Yeah. So that concludes the abdominal exam.